Welcome to another episode of Good Cooking. And today we're doing another sandwich of my people. It's delicious, it's exquisite, and it's gonna put you to bed. It's the Godfather. So I prefer a nice semolina bread. However, I was unable to attain that today because of the fact that the one store that I am familiar with in LA that sells it was closed. The entire store had the flu. Is that true? No, but that's from, uh, yeah. So, had to get the back up. A nice soft baguette style, kind of like Italian bread, but maybe not. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Hell of a sell job. It's not the bread I wanted. <laughs> but I'm gonna make this sandwich phenomenal. We're just gonna, it's actually really nice bread and it smells wonderful. Just gonna cut this baby right down the middle. Ben, what was your go-to sandwich growing up here? Just a classic turkey, mayo, lettuce, pickles, as white as you want. School shooter sandwich. <laughs> but you know what? This sandwich for me, when I played baseball, if I caught a good game, this is the reward. This was the winner. Yeah, so I did, I did everything. I didn't even care about winning. I just knew that my mom was gonna get me one of these Godfather sandwiches at the end of the game. All the other kids were eating round table pizza and you <laughs> were having a Godfather sandwich. Yeah, and oranges and fruits and vegetables. And I was like, nah, we gotta go to Marino Brothers. We gotta get a, gotta get a Godfather. Let's load up on that sodium. I lost it during the game. <laughs> right. So what we're gonna start with here, as you can see, we have an array of different Italian meats. So I'm going to take uh, we got a little capicola. Ben, you familiar with this? Don't even answer right now. And we're just gonna start putting that down. Let's load it up. Let's make this sandwich really extraordinary. I'm just imagining you <laughs> with grass and dirt stains going up and ordering prosciutto on a sandwich. Are you kidding me? I went to get this sandwich afterwards and uh, right in my uniform and then I went home and I didn't even get out of my uniform before I ate it. <laughs> I just imagine you with eye black and you're like, that's good capicola. That's right, baby. <laughs> Sweat, dirt, and mortadella. <laughs> then I got a little bit of uh, spicy, uh, a little calabrese here, so we're gonna put that on there. Ben, you never came in any contact with any of these Italian meats as a kid, huh? I don't think so. Well, now you're gonna have some. You're gonna have to have more blood work done. Mother's gonna be calling off the hook. Did Columbus make any of these meats? Columbus? <laughs> these were all on his ship when he got here. <laughs> so look at that, we're layering it up. Now what I'm gonna do is do a little mortadella. Look at this. Ben, you know the key. I always say this. Look at that. That's also mortadella? Very, this is mortadella. That was Calabrese. They're not the same. <laughs> the key, nice and thin. I could see you through this. Look at that, you're still a handsome fella. Okay, so we're just gonna put that there. You don't want, see, see? See, I can see you. I can look in, I'm looking in your eyes right now. Yeah. And what do you see? No hope. Oh my God, this is bringing back so many memories for me. God, does any of those memories include a hospital visit? Now we got a little super sada. We got it nice and thin also. Whoop, look at this, huh? Tell you this, look at this. Then we're gonna do a little prosciutto di palma. Ben, this is, this is how we lived on the East Coast. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> is it a constant state of heartburn? Yeah, of course, you don't eat this every day. I mean, some people do, but you know, they're not, they're not doing well. Why are you guys such an angry people? No, that's not true. This calms you down. <laughs> but then afterwards, you get a little riled up. <laughs> that all that agita, 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 building up. Okay, so now we get the brusto at the bottom. Look at this, it's already about three pounds. Now we're gonna do, I prefer provolone. Sliced very thin, as you can see, provolone. Some people use mozzarella. You could do that. It's your sandwich, don't bother me. So now we're just gonna put the provolone. Whoop! Bing! Nice. And now what I like to do is I do a little bit of lettuce and tomato and some pepperoncini. You can use cherry peppers, you can use hot and sweet peppers, however you want it. I prefer to use this. So we're just gonna now put on our little tomatoes. I like thin, nice tomatoes too, not too thick. Then we're gonna do, got my lettuce. A little. How much do one of these go for? Eh, you're probably in the 12 buck range right about now. Back in the day, it was probably about seven bucks, you know? But uh, yeah, you got quite a bit of meat on here. But you know, you could share this. This is very easy to share. Get those pepperoncinis on there. Ben, you like pepperoncini? Love Too late. So yeah, we definitely got a lot of sodium on here. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to eat this at the hospital. You know what I would suggest as a side to this? Water. 
<laughs> That's pretty much it. Now I get some nice extra virgin olive oil and I'm just gonna drizzle that like so. Maybe get a little on the bread here, huh? Now you could do a little mustard. I'm not doing mustard, I have done it in the past. But a little red wine vinegar. Oh yeah. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Good. And then I'm just gonna take a little garlic powder because I put that on everything, including my toothbrush. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on there. And then since we have so much salt, you don't need salt, just pepper. So let's give that a little grind. That is really beautiful. If I do say so myself. Now we're ready, finish this off and cut into it. <laughs> it's incredible! You know, usually you give your kids a bottle or a pacifier to shut them up. Not in an Italian household, you get a godfather, which is what my mom gave me. Which only shut me up for about, I don't know, two to three minutes and then she would give me some chips. But this thing made me the man I am today. Put hair on my back, made me earn a living wage. I love it, you will too. It's the godfather. As always, the recipe is in the description below. And from our house to yours, yay, get the f out of here. I mean, is that not incredible? <laughs> that thing's insane. <laughs>